welcome to the instructional part of the video. You can get tabs and backing tracks if you go to my website, www.erichaugenguitar.com. Today, I am playing with my 1966 Fender Mustang with Tom Brantley pickups in the neck pickup, running into my board, using my Strymon Deco and my Strymon Flint for some crunch and reverb. Playing through, Silvertone 1484 amp, mic'd up with an SE Electronics, and um, it's actually loaded with, I got a new speaker in here, a WGS G12Q driver is what you're hearing. Now let's learn this thing. So the first change that we're dealing with is D, F sharp seven, great soulful change, B minor. So we start with sliding into that five of the A string, going up to nine, just an inversion there, just a pentatonic inversion. That is nine on that A, seven on the D. Now to get that F sharp, all I'm gonna do is raise that seven up to an eight. I'm gonna keep that shape and sneak my pointer finger back to the um, seven of the B to kind of make that F sharp seven chord. And then, so when I come down there, yeah, I have pointer fingers uh, covering seven and seven, ring fingers sneakily around and getting nine, thumb is getting seven, that's my B minor. And if I can, yeah, a little. And yep, yeah, I'm hybrid picking. And then I just do a little fill, it's kind of a harmonized sixth kind of thing. Just seemed like it was a nice kind of echo of the melody. So there I am, 11 on the D, nobody, 10 on the B. Staying on that string grouping, seven, nobody, seven. Changing string grouping, nine, uh, that's nine on my A, nobody, seven. Comes around again. I do get a little, if I can, I'll bend it a little. And then I do, I, I feel like I do this anytime I have a minor chord. That's kind of a, I do that, it's like, yeah, I don't know, I rely on it. Again, I'm thinking, you know, because it's B minor, B minor pentatonic. I'm grabbing a 10 there on my B string, and then a little, a little kind of tiny little pre-bend on that. What was that? Nine on my G to seven. And then, yeah, a little very classic Hendrix. That is, you know, on my A string, seven to nine, seven, seven. I think we got one more time through, yep. And then I kind of imitate that melody lower in harmonized sixths. So that's off of, you know, there's an F sharp 7 here, there's also an F sharp 7 here, which is what I'm aiming for, that chord structure. 3 on the G, nobody home, 4 on the A, and now I'm 4 on the D, nobody home, 6 on the low E, which gets me to the next B minor. An interesting B minor you can grab there, that is 7. Uh, nobody home, one, uh, sorry, not seven, uh, seven, nobody home, four, pinky gets out, because that's uh, Patrick's vocal melody note up there. The pinky is on the seven of the G. That's just the tiniest portion of an A chord. And yep, that's, you know, I put a classic, you know, wind cries Mary fill right there. So let's see. Which is pinkies on grabbing the seven, four, five, hammering on to that six in between. Song lands on a G, my thumb grabs a G. Yeah, okay, there's a G structure, I'm just isolating elements of it. Four on the G, three on the B. 
And now the song does a D, so I don't even hit the root. I go right to that in version seven, sorry, nine, seven, seven. Hammer on that little delicately. Uh, seven hammers to nine, but that upper seven stays a seven. There's my A chord again, which is really just seven and six of that chord. I do that little fill again. And now we're heading into the chorus. I like the way that came out. So you do pick up notes. Uh, we're at seven and, and I'm already barred because I know what's about to happen. So I'm covering seven, seven, seven but I'm only playing seven on the G string because there's my G chord, 10, nine, seven. And then I do a little walk out. Yep, so good thing I'm barred because I'm going 10, seven, 10. Here comes a B minor. You know, there's the structure. Yeah, I am hybrid picking. I'm getting seven and seven up here with the seven down there on the low one. So seven and seven on the G and the B. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to go to a D. So I do actually like, okay, there's my D. And I, I'm pretty sure Sloan are all excellent harmonizers, but it sounds like to me Patrick is harmonizing with himself on this song. So I tag it. So that is, here I am, I'm going to be on the G and the B strings this whole time. 6-5, six, 7-7, five, 6-5, seven, seven, six, 4-3, four, 4-3 three, four, three again, 2-2. Two, two. And then, one lonely 2 there, and it, I, as I come around and get the 3 and the 4, I, my thumb comes around, hybrid picking get that neat harmony. G chord, let that kind of two and two hit against it. Here comes an F sharp chord. Yep, so that's just the inner part of that, of a standard F sharp chord. So yeah, I'm getting the, the four and the three there, and then the three and the two. It's gonna go do a B minor. Minor, three and two. You just back it off to two and zero and back to three and two. And then I did this cool kind of... I always like that because you use the open string as, as a kind of a, a gap filler. So there I am on four of the D, two on the G, zero on that B. While that's ringing, yeah, you go up to this B minor, which is seven, nine, seven. There's that 10, and then you know me, I like to go. <laughs> I always do it. Uh, and that's just, yeah, that same lick from before. Uh, nine goes up a little bit, out, seven. And then, you know, you got a whole another chorus. time I go down, still just playing around with minor pentatonic against a B minor chord, you know, which is just 4, 2, O, oh, landing on that too. And then Patrick takes a tasty little solo, so I transcribe that too. He doesn't play that 5, but I do. His first lick, I like that, I like that a lot. So here I am kind of playing out of this B minor pentatonic-ish. Seven, this is neat. I'm oh, sorry, nine, seven, eight. Because he's actually kind of playing to that, that F sharp seven shape, so that's why that note is in there. That's a seven, nine, down. Cool little lick. And this is neat, he actually implies B major for a second which I would have never done, but I really like it. 
he's going to jump all the way to 10, 11, 9, or sorry, 12. That's a neat little lick. Back to that 10, 10, 12. I like that. Now on the record, he just does, which is just uh, 7, 8, 7, change to, that's on the B. 9 on that G. And I don't know why I had the idea, of what if I kind of put a few extra harmony notes in there? I kind of like how it came out, so that's what I did. So I'm flat on the 7 to 7, and then I'm coming in 9, 8. And when I come back, though, I do a weird thing. Uh, uh, um, a seven and a nine there. Just do it twice. And then there's like a cool little Mark Knopfler, which is, yeah, we're kind of backing up, playing kind of out of one of those in-between pentatonic or minor structures. So I'm gonna, I'm on my G, I'm gonna bend that six up. My pinky's gonna get the seven of the B. It's a little bend, it's only one fret. I'm gonna walk my way out of it. Two, four, two. And then here I come with some sixes to kind of do a little tag. Five on the A, nobody home four. Four, nobody home two. There's my F sharp. Uh, that's six, nobody home four. Four, nobody home three. Again, it's still just playing out of that. And then the final thing, a little parallel fourths. Four on the D and the G. There you have it. Sloan is a great Canadian rock band that are still out there making great records and touring today. In fact, I think I'm going to see them in a month or so. They're, they're kind of like the Beatles in that everybody in the band writes songs and can play multiple instruments. And similar to the Beatles, their songs all complement each other so well. It goes from one of Andrew's songs to one of Jay's songs to one of Chris's songs, and they just flow together well. Um, this is one of Patrick's songs. It's on the end of what might be my favorite record by them, Navy Blues. There's a, yeah, I mean, they just have a lot of great records. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this arrangement and then maybe it made you curious about Sloan or Hendrixian double stop possibilities. Either way, have fun with it. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.